I know, and this is where they were talking about the G, uh, the chat GPT, the, co the consensus between those guys were that the big battle where all the like sort of like the blue water money is like the ocean's yours is mm -hmm. data sets. Who is going to own them? Because if you can if you can imagine that, let's say Disney or Warner Brothers or I don't know, Google, Apple, any of the big the big corporations uh, with the magic wand is will have an ability to own it, like legally own it mm -hmm. and have a full copyright kind of blanket on top of whatever data they've collected. Now you we are in the territory where the derivative of your work is copywritten and your work isn't right that could potentially yeah. go I, I don't think it will but could potentially go that there i think that would be challenged like that specific uh, thing would be challenged it would be a, a, a horrible battle to to you know to fight for an artist for art for art community oh god yeah uh but definitely definitely something that the art community could I mean, it, all it takes is, is one prominent artist to to file a lawsuit. That's really what it takes. You know, very yeah. interesting, very interesting. Uh, and this is something I, I actually want to research into. But I've heard that Quora is actually suing. Um, I think it, they're suing Microsoft. I would have to look it the, up. The website Quora? Yeah. Q -U -O -R because they have open source. Uh, yeah, I think they're suing Microsoft for G G GitHub AI. Because GitHub AI is using Quora. Uh, and I would have to, like, again, I would have to research. Uh, this is something I wanted to do. I just always run out of time. But uh, if that's true, you know, an open source uh, community is basically arguing that you cannot use open source language to then package it and sell it, right? Because yeah. that's illegal. Yeah. Um, we should hope so. We yeah, hope so. I, I, th I, I just think it is. Obviously, again not a lawyer i would have to do a research about this and this is mm -hmm. something I, i'm probably going to look into more recently but in courts usually there is a precedent right so if the precedent is set then the companies have to change so i mean you're right if if that's the only data point to which those uh diffusion models are connected to all it takes to to the courts say like you cannot you have to remove half of what's in there because that's yeah and that's and that's from your video and uh, and I'm aware I am aware by proxy from hearing that you know w when you when you talk about stable diffusions and then you talk about AI music like everyone's complaining that AI music is is bad and the uh, diffusion models are amazing and it does make sense if AI music models are not using copyright material um, then the data sets are much 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 smaller which yeah. which would make sense to me. Uh, so it's very interesting, very it definitely is. very interesting.